Saw X or Saw 10 is a 2023 horror film directed by Kevin Gertrude, who also directed parts 6 and 7 of this franchise. The screenplay and story are by Josh Stolberg and Peter Goldfinger. Now, if you know that, then you know that they did Jigsaw and Spiral. This is the 10th installment in the Saw franchise, and we see Tobin Bell back as John Kramer. This film takes place between part 1 and part two, so Saw 1 and Saw 2. So this is a great, great story. We know John Kramer has cancer, and in order to do everything he can, he goes to Mexico to get treatment for his cancer. But then they find out, or he finds out, that it's a front, and they're just embezzling money from people, taking money from people, and just going about their day, saying that they are cured, but when they're not. John Kramer finds out and he wants to round up everyone. He does that. We have Gabriella, who is a drug addict. We have Matteo, who is a drug dealer. We have Valentina, who is a prostitute. And then we have Cecilia, who is kind of the mastermind or doctor in all this. And we have Parker Sears, who is the other underlining patient that kind of is, was kind of outed of his money. The traps in this are really, really interesting. We see the eyeball trap that you see in the official poster. We also see some interesting brain surgery going on. It's in the trailer, but it's not as gruesome or crazy than the previous traps in the previous installments in this franchise. It's more mundane, but it make, does make you go, ooh, and it makes you cringe. It's fun, it's interesting, there are a lot of twists and turns, something you wouldn't believe. And seeing Tobin Bell come back as John Kramer and have a starring role once again since the third film, I want to say, is really, really good. He really steals the show. Not only that, Shawnee Smith as Amanda also returns. You know who Amanda is, I don't have to go into detail of who this character is, but she is helping Jigsaw along the way. There are some interesting aspects in how the story progresses, but it's for me one of the most emotional based horror films story-wise that I have ever seen that focuses on a character and just by emotion, health, how they're manipulated and how they manipulate someone else. It's really, really good and to the point where you're like, wow, you really feel for Tobin Bell's character of John Kramer. I will say this, John Kramer is not the villain in any of these films, even from part one to now. He is just doing what he's supposed to and have everyone else see the light, so to speak. You know, he's like a motivational life coach in a way, in a gruesome aspect. He's just trying to help people. He has nothing to do. He didn't kill anybody. And you really feel for John in this moment. And when you see the other characters getting what they deserve, holy shit, you are going crazy. And you're like, all right, John, what's your next move? And then Amanda trying to bring him down to reality. And even though we know she was a drug addict and she can kind of, you know, see what's going on with Gabriella. It's just an interesting aspect. The traps are, like I said, not, you know, gruesome, but there are moments where it's like, holy shit, what is happening? Billy the Puppet makes an appearance. It's really, really good. And the aspect of just Cecilia being a bitch, and it's like one of the most annoying characters in the franchise as well. The film runs for close to two hours. It's story-driven, it's story-based, which is really, really good. And like I said, it's the best one since the first film. And if you really categorize it, it goes Saw, Saw X, 2, 3. Uh, with the focus of Tobin Bell, John Kramer, those are the movies. Anything 4, 5, 6, 7, that's close to being Amanda, Detective Hoffman, Dr. Gordon, or, you know, the other characters, and then 8 and 9 are just copycat killers. 8 and 9, you can just put on the side, we don't need to under know what's going on with those films. And, but um, this franchise really came back with a bang in a good, good way. We feel for John, we know what he's going through, and then he just wants to right wrong. That's all that is. This was fantastic. I loved it and I was glued to the screen from the moment the credits started rolling to the end of the credits. And there is a post credit scene after this movie so be sure you stay after the credits to check this out. Once that's over you can leave the theater and enjoy your rest of you know your Saw franchise watching. For me Saw X or Saw 10 gets 5 out of 5 stars. It's probably going to be in my top 10 films 
of 2023. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Saw X or Saw 10. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What do you think about Tobin Bell coming back as John Kramer? Did you like seeing Shawnee Smith back as Amanda? What did you think about the story? Did you like it? Did you think that it was too bland? Do you agree with John's antics? Do you think that he's the villain in all of these movies? Or do you think he's doing right by how his character is in all of these films? And were you surprised at how certain things played out? And do you think that this is the best Saw movie in the franchise? Or do you think it's on par with the first one? And where would you rank your Saw movies? Let me know in the comment section below about all the questions I just asked. And be sure you click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for new review videos on my channel. I will see you all in the next review video. I'm Mr. Filmstock, and thank you so much for tuning into my review.